Pharmac has pulled out of a plan to fund a lung cancer drug that would have helped at least 1,400 patients a year, saying it can no longer afford to make the investment. The move has dashed hopes that Keytruda would be soon publicly funded for lung cancer, New Zealand's biggest cancer killer. RNZ has obtained documents showing that Pharmac had planned to offer a request for proposals, or RFP, where drug companies are asked to pitch their products and prices, but has pulled out out on budget grounds. Chief Executive Sarah Fitt has told RNZ that Pharmac is concerned about rising drug prices worldwide in the COVID-19 pandemic and so has put funding for the drug on hold but hopes to revisit that in the future. But lung cancer patients and their advocates are devastated and say they have been given a false hope. Investigative journalist Guyon Espiner has the story. Michelle James is 57 years old and has been on Keytruda since January last year. She and her partner have had to sell their Wanaka house to fund Keytruda because Pharmac doesn't. Thinking positive is the best thing and just try and keep laughing and try and just try and see the positive thing. And, you know, when we had the house in the market, that was the, the biggest kick in the gut. We worked hard all our lives and... Got to build her own house. Her partner Clive estimates they've spent $110,000 on the drug. We are the lucky ones because Keytruda or Michelle has worked and is still working. And the reality is, is that money and houses and everything, they're just sticks and stones. Michelle's still alive. Lung cancer takes about 1,800 lives a year in New Zealand, more than breast cancer, prostate cancer and melanoma combined. Those who need Keytruda have to fund it themselves. We're not worried about us. It's all the other people that don't have the money to be able to, to do it and we'll have to go down the horrible road of chemo and radio and their poor families and poor them and it's just, it's just absolutely horrible. Lung Foundation Chief Executive Philip Hope said Pharmac wrote to the organisation in September last year, saying they were preparing an RFP for drug companies to pitch prices and products to fund the drug. This week he got a letter from Chief Executive Sarah Fitt saying things had changed, Pharmac didn't have the money. What we now have is 30 lung cancer patients continuing to die prematurely every week and, and you have to ask yourself, you know, is that acceptable? Sarah Fitz said funding a drug like Keytruda for lung cancer would have cost hundreds of millions of dollars over the next five years and Pharmac could not commit to that given the COVID-19 outbreak. There's been quite significant impacts on manufacturing and supply chains and we're already seeing um, significant price increases coming through freight. As you can imagine, with the sort of airline situation, freight is becoming a huge issue. So it's, it's actually getting stuff into the country is proving challenging, but also the costs associated with it. She said there was now a lot of uncertainty over the Pharmac budget because medicine costs were rising due to supply issues in the pandemic. There are obviously products that have been used you know, in much bigger quantities overseas, particularly, say, in intensive care. Um, so, you know, the availability of those products reduces, the price goes up. She said Pharmac now had growing concerns about maintaining the supply of medicines into New Zealand. We're worried about the impact with the air freight. I think we're starting to see that impact on the aviation industry globally, and that's going to have an impact on medicines that we fly into the country from overseas. The backdown comes despite Pharmac's expert committee on cancer treatments recommending last April that Keytruda be funded as a high priority. The committee said that both health-related quality of life and overall survival results were clinically meaningful for affected patients. Malcolm Mulholland of Patient Voice Aotearoa said it was rare for Pharmac to commit to engaging in an RFP and then to pull the plug. They have very much given false hope to lung cancer patients, especially when you look at the numbers involved. I mean, there are some 1,400 patients that could potentially have their lives extended for five years or more by the funding of this drug. Michelle's partner Clive is angry with Pharmac and its chief executive. I have never once heard her or her silent chairman get up and stand up in front of the government and say, we need this more money because... We want to fund these immunotherapy drugs and all the other drugs that are out there. We need to fund this. We need more money. We need more money. 
and yet all of a sudden the government can find billions of dollars to help with the COVID. Michelle says Keturuta is working well and that the alternatives were unbearable. Having chemo, I would have lost my hair, I would have lost weight. I'd, I'd, you know, they only gave me 7 to 12 months. Well, I would have been dead by now anyway, so you're lucky I'm talking to you. And likely to be talking for some time yet. I'm not going to let it get me. I'll get it before it gets me. <laughs> but as for getting Keturuta for lung patients on the public purse, Pharmax says that's now on hold. It wants to fund it but can't afford it and can't say when that will change. For Checkpoint, Kogai and Espinatene.